Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm so excited today because I'm going to be showing you thin candies which I'm wearing from Godiva Secret Wigs but in chestnut red. Oh my goodness me, rub my hands together. I'm so excited about this wig. You saw me unbox it when I did the unboxing video not long ago but it's taken me a while to sew wig clips in and get it ready to wear. So I'm ready to wear it today. I'm wearing green, green goes really good with red and I thought this wig is something special. You know, I've been on at Godiva Secret Wigs for a while to make it in a red. I was hoping for it as well in Garnet Glaze, but it's not available in Garnet Glaze, but it's finally available in Chestnut and I'm just so excited. So without further ado, let's get it on. So the wig I'm wearing right now is Thin Candice. Now, this is a really amazing wig. It's one of my favorite wigs. I haven't adjusted this wig at all. Okay, you know, this is how it comes. It comes parted this way. It's machine teased. There's no lace front, but it doesn't need to be. And it's got a tiny little bang. So you might find that you want to cut this bang. You know, I've cut the bang on. I've got four of the ginger brown thin candices. If you've been watching me a while, you know this. And I have trimmed the bang on one of them. I've also cut a full bang into one and cut the length on there. But this one I've just left as is. And I wear this one all the time over on my other channel, Guided by Angels. But I really wanted it in a red and I've got it. I'm so excited. I suppose I've been keeping it for best a bit, really, because... You know, I want to wear it on a special occasion. So I suppose I'm waiting for the right time. Yeah, I've bought myself two of these. So I can easily wear one all the time and then save the other one for best. But this is something a little bit special for me. So I'm really excited about this wig. And a big shout out to Rochelle and Danielle for getting this in and red. So thin candies and chestnuts. Let's have a look now. I've got long candies, the, the big candies in chestnut already. I've had that for a while, I have already reviewed that wig, but for me personally, as much as I love the Candice wigs with all the hair, I prefer the thin Candice because they're much more manageable, you know, they're easier to wear, they're more of a daily wig, and you know, I just love it, so this is probably one of my favourite go-to wigs, thin Candice, so to get her in this gorgeous red is just a bonus, I mean, let me show you the inside first of all. So the wig clips, I've sewn them in. I've put two at the front and one at the back for added security because I know I'm going to be wearing this wig out and about and, you know, I don't want it falling off. So you only really need two clips at the front, but I have put three in for added security. It is a machine tease wig, so you've got all this height at the front. The cap's very comfortable and you've got all the breathable wefting at the back here as well. So it's a very comfortable wig to wear. It's very cosy and snug to the head. So it feels nice on. You know, it's just a really nice average size cap and it fits me lovely. And the ear tabs are really comfortable. It's also got bra strap type adapters at the back so you can loosen or tighten the wig to suit your head. And at the back, it's got the Godiva's label so you know where the front is and where the back is. So let's have a look at the colour. Look at this, gorgeous. So you can see the ginger brown I'm wearing right now and the red, this chestnut red and the difference and, you know, why I wanted it in this colour. It's absolutely stunning. It's spectacular. I love it so much. So this is the wig in its natural state. All I've done to this is sew wig clips in. I haven't even worn it yet out and about, but I'm ready to and I'm so excited to. And I'm really looking forward to trying it with this green outfit today because, you know, red hair and green clothes really does go. You know, and I've got green eyes as well. So red wigs always kind of highlight my eyes and make my eyes pop a little bit. So I'm going to take Thin Candice off in Ginger Brown. I'm going to take her off. I've washed my hair today. It is growing back, as you can see. So it is a little bit fly away. This is how I store my wigs when I'm not wearing them. So I'll just put this one back now in the bag it comes in, which I've got it labelled. And this one, this is my new one, I've just labelled the bag. So I know it's thin candies in chestnut. So I can find it very easy and go to it very quickly. So let's put her on. So when you're putting a wig on, all you need to do is just make sure all your hair's pushed back if it's short. Or, you know, put it into a little ponytail. My hair now at the back is getting long enough 
for me to put a little pony in. Can you see all this hair at the back here because it's growing? Got a little mullet growing up there. So I'm just getting a little bobby, uh, not bobby pin, a little menopause brain. I'm putting a little bobble in at the back just to hold, you know, this little piece of hair out the way and to create an anchor for my wig. So I'm going to take my earrings out just so you can see a bit better. So you can see how my hair's starting to grow. You know, it's actually coming behind my ears now when I'm, you know, it's over my ears. But when I push it back, you can see it below my ears. And that's kind of the awkward stage where it isn't going into a, a band yet and it's trying to stick out of my wig. So I am making sure I'm having to really push in my hair when I put my wig on. So I'm going to get my thumbs at the back where the label is. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there and I'm going to pull it over and then I'm going to line up the ear tabs and then I'm going to pull the wig up to my hairline and she's good to go. So I'm just going to unclip the clip so that I can clip her in and show you. It's a very quick process putting a wig on. So you just tuck it in at the back there. I grab the ear tabs and make sure they are straight. And as I said, you know, my hair's sticking out right now. So I just need to push my hair in. And then I just need to right, raise it up to my hairline. I've got it about right there. And then I'm just going to clip her in. Remember, I've sewn them in, but you can wear this wig as is, or you can wear wig grip bands, or you can sew in your own wig clips, or you can have Godiva's Secret Wigs sew them in at an extra cost, or wear a wig cap, whatever you want to do. But isn't this fabulous? I just love it. Now, it's quite bright outside, so... I'm just going to pull the blind down a little bit just so you can have a proper look. That's better, you see. So, <clears throat> you know, I haven't done anything with this wig yet. I haven't brushed it, just put it on. But look at the gorgeous colour. It's absolutely stunning, this wig. So I'm going to get my little brush here, with my big paddle brush, and I'm just going to give it a little brush out. Now, it doesn't take much at all. You know, Godiva Secret Wigs, the hair on them, it's synthetic hair. Very easy to manage. It doesn't get tangled. You know, some of the Raquel Welsh wigs I've tried get very, very tangled easy. You go out in it and, you know, if you're not brushing it out all the time, it gets, you know, it makes a mess. So for me, you know, I like the Raquel Welsh wigs, but I much prefer the Godiva Secret wigs. And I'm also really excited because I've got the Norico weight range to try as well. You know, someone commented in the comment section and said, you know, they remind me, these wigs, Godiva's Secret Wigs, remind them a lot of the Norico wigs. So I thought, you know, I'm going to try them and see what I think. And I can see some similarities. So I am excited to review some of those with you very soon. But this is Thin Candice from Godiva's Secret Wigs in Chestnut. It's gorgeous. So look at this. Love it. Love it. So we're going to look in the mirror first of all, and then I'm going to do a turn. So you can see how it hasn't taken much at all for me to sleek it out and make it very smooth and manageable. Beautiful. Look at that red, gorgeous colour. You know, chestnut red, so it's red, but it's also got that kind of darkness to it as well. Just really natural, really, really pretty. Love it. One of my favourite colours in this range, so beautiful. So I'm going to show you from the side. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the back of the wig. You know, Thin Candice is such an amazing wig anyway. You know, she's just beautiful. I've got her in Nutmeg. I've got her in um, Almond Spice. I've got her in Dark Chocolate. I've got her in Ginger Brown. And now I've got her in Gorgeous, Gorgeous Chestnut. So, love it. So, you can see the bang here. Could easily cut a bang into this if I wanted to. You know, you can cut a small bang or a chunkier bang. Well, you know, if you move all this hair out of the way and you find the thin bang... Here it is, you know, you could just easily chop that up. But the thing is, when you use your hands as heat, you know, when you get your hands and you get it into style, it creates a heat. Because you don't want to be putting heat on these wigs, you know, they don't like heat. So, you know, you want to be putting your hands in there, really, and doing it with your hands. So if you use your hands, it creates natural heat, and then it puts it where you want it. So it will stay like that. And this is how I wear my ginger brown one. You know, so I haven't altered it at all. Love it. I could easily just get the hairdryer on the cold setting and blast it with the hairdryer to make sure it stays that way. Or I could just get a bobby pin in there, 
because it will remember the hair remembers it's very very clever you know it remembers where you want the hair to be so i love it like this so this is absolutely stunning i'm over the moon with this wig i love the color i love the style i love everything about it so to get this wig in this color in this gorgeous chestnut red is just a dream come true for me so i'm over the moon with this as well so loving it so i just really wanted to jump on and show it to you with this gorgeous gorgeous green let me put that in there you can see it better like that and you can see how long you're knocking the camera there you can see how long thin candice is you know she goes right down to the back here so she's a really pretty wig and you know there's so much you can do you haven't got to just have it down if you're thinking that's a lot of hair though liz i don't know if i could cope with that you know if you wanted to cut this wig you can i have you know you can go to the playlist right now and have a look at thin candice customized you know and i've cut a little bang in there and i've cut the length so i've cut it to about there on my ginger brown one cut in a full fringe on the almond spice i've done the same as well but you could easily cut this and leave the fringe as it is or you know cut in that little thin bang there you know however you wanted it to be but if you wanted to keep the length but wear it up you know you could easily pull this over to the side you know and wear it as a side ponytail easily do that or you could wear it like this you know a lot of people do have their own natural hair like this they just pull it over one side and don't put a bobble in just wear it like this or you know do it the other way pull it around that way and that's very pretty too or you could easily you know put it up in a clip you know a little claw clip there's many many things you can do with this wig stunning but personally for me i like to wear it down so you can see the whole color and you know you're going to get looks in this color because chestnut red is just gorgeous and you know if you've ever colored your own hair red and i have many many times over many many years it's so hard to keep it red you know within a couple of days you can already see the root coming through you know it's hard work being a redhead you know it's amazing if you're a natural redhead and if you are you're so blessed but usually you know we don't like our own natural color do we we want to change it so probably you know if you're a natural redhead you want to be blonde or you want to be a brunette so but you're very very lucky and i you know i've always loved reds i just think it's amazing any kind of red whether it's light red medium red dark red i'm all about the reds and that's why i would love this one in garnet glaze because you know when i was a bit younger you know i'm nearly 47 now but when i was in my 30s especially you know my late 20s early 30s i used to have it um you know like that kind of color like a really dark deep rich red you know like a garnet glaze color like a, a deep kind of in a way like a blackberry i suppose that kind of red and like a black cherry red but i used to love that and garnet glaze is very similar to that i've got garnet glaze and um, rochelle wig from Godira's secret wigs and i'm going to be ordering some of the noriko wigs in that color as well so i'm excited for that and you know that this wig well, i thought something could be there you see this is menopause when you're on menopause you think something's around you have it's really funny you sometimes you feel like there's a fly flying at you it's the, the way the um something outside the light caught me there but honestly there's a lady i watch i've got to put this in there there's a lady i watch on youtube called carrie ann Wright, and she's a menopause expert and she brings humor into the menopause journey and she talks about how sometimes you go like this you know thinking that there's there's flies in the room when there isn't and you know menopause makes us act in all crazy ways so it just makes me smile when those things happen so a bit of comedy for you there if you want to check carrie ann rice out she's on youtube she's amazing she talks all things menopause and if you are going through menopause or perimenopause my heart is with you i know what crazy symptoms we go through and how it feels but i just love this and the point i was making is you know i used to love having my hair dyed like that um garnet glaze color i've got that uh, color in rochelle wig it's stunning and to get this one in that would also be a dream come true because this is a lot like when i used to have my hair straightened at the hairdressers this is how it to be because my own natural hair is naturally curly and i used to years and years ago like when i was 19 20 21 i used to had it big and long and curly and it was huge and amazing 
but you know as we get older we change and I wanted to have it straight so the only way for me to do it without having a nervous breakdown was to go and have it done weekly at the hairdressers so I'd go and have it straightened but I could spend you know my hairdresser at the time she used to yap a lot so I could be in there for two three hours sometimes and you know who's got time to spend two three hours on the hair who's got time you know I've got busy life and I didn't want the hassle and doing it myself was too much like hard work I'd do one side and I'd do it fantastic and then by the time I got to the other one I'd have all make I'd be fed up so I'd have one frizzy side and one really nice long straight side so wearing a wig is just amazing because you haven't got to do anything to your hair you just you know wash it put it back put your wig on you're good to go amazing so I just love this. So the fact that I can be a redhead any time I want is just a joy to me. And you're going to get people looking at the colour because it's so gorgeous. You know, whether you love red hair or you don't, people are going to think, wow, her hair is stunning. Because it is. I just love it. So that's for me, you know, me having this red hair is just the most amazing thing. And it's just like, look at it, it's luxurious. You know, it's like wearing a shawl of red hair. It's amazing. But obviously, you know, you don't have to keep it like that. You can put a little bit around your face, you know, put the rest back like this. Or, you know, you can even put it into pigtails if you wanted to. Or you could put plaits in there. You know, this hair is just so realistic. You can pretty much style it however you want. But it's gorgeous and I love it. And I'm so happy with it. So this one, probably my favourite thing, Candice wig. Even though I love my ginger brown. You know, and I can show you again from the side the difference between... Because ginger brown is a ready brown, but obviously it's nowhere near as vibrant as this one. So you can see the difference in the colours, you know. But I do love this one, but this is more of a daily wig for me that I'm wearing on my other channel. This is more for go out and, you know, just feel nice. And, you know, I just love it. Even though maybe I should start wearing this on my other channel, Guided by Angels, because it's just what I love. You know, if I could have my hair colours any colour right now and know that it would stay this way, it would be this one. But, you know, for me, I'm on perimenopause. I'm not dyeing my hair anymore. I'm growing it back completely natural. And I'm quite loving the salt and pepper effect of the wig, the wig of the hair, um, of my own hair. I was just thinking then in my mind, because, you know, if they bring this out in a salt and pepper they've got a new colour um i'm just trying to they give me it's in my mind i'm thinking frosty taupe but that's not it i think it's smoky quartz it's like a salt and pepper blend i would definitely get it in this wig because i feel eventually that's what my hair will look like it will be more of a salt and pepper blend so i'm really looking forward to that as well and you know the thing is if i don't like it i just stick my wig on but I'm sure that I will because I love it already. I love how it's growing through and it feels so good and natural. So, but wigs are so much fun and so much ease. And, you know, I can't really ever see me not wearing a wig now because I just love it. And it's so exciting. And I am wig addicted. So, this is Thin Candice from Godira Secret Wigs in Chestnut Red. Amazing. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a great day. Sending you so much love. And I'll see you soon.